Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. This is a paid request. It's time for James. And for those interested to request any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for another album, this time Metallica's Death Magnetic, which is, I believe, the ninth album Metallica had. Now, I've said before, I do like Metallica's sound. I do like a lot of their rhythms, their guitar work. Uh, the drumming by Lars Ulrich, James uh, Hetfield, sorry if I butcher his name, just a bad with names, his singing. I think for me, I'm in that state of affairs in my mind that nothing will ever beat the Black Album. And so I know it's not fair by keep comparing every album to that. And I don't think there's really been any album that come close to that, at least for me personally. But at the same time, when I say I'm a fan of Metallica, it's because I do enjoy their rhythm. I do enjoy their guitar work. And it doesn't feel like a chore to listen to. I may not remember much of it a month or two later. Because I'm getting older. There's getting more and more diseased. This brain itself, the brain cells are depleting. Jump and ship as I get older and older, but... You know, there's a. I enjoyed this enough. I just say I didn't mind this one. Uh, that was just your life, the end of the line, broken beat, broken, beat and steered, the day that never comes, all nightmare long, cyanide, unforgiven three, Judas kiss, my apocalypse. It did get some pretty good reviews when it came out. And I didn't, there's a lot of good elements in this that I did enjoy. I mean, the first song, I like that it starts out with this heartbeat motif. I kind of wish that heartbeat continued throughout the rest of the song. But some of the lyrics, almost like your life, almost like your endless fight, curse the day is long, realize you don't belong. I'm like, okay, this is a good start to this. Good start to this album. Got my head bopping there. And the end of the line, I would say, is one of the better ones for me. I really like the guitar and drums. I thought that was a good combination on that. New Consequence Machine. Burn through all in overtime. I even like when it goes a bit of a slower tempo. Drop the hourglass of time. The slave become the master. At the end of the line. I'm okay, this is like a good one-two punch. You know, that was just your life and then in a line. Okay, we'll see where this goes. Broken being steered. I think Lars Ulrich was more of a fan of the title that song. Uh, James was not, but they went with it. Uh, the one that sticks out to me on that song is the Rapid Fire Guitar. <laughs> really gets your blood pumping. Uh, didn't like it as much as the first two songs, but the you know the guitar, very well done. The Day That Never Comes, that was a little bit more of their ballad. Push You Cross That Line. Just stay down this time. But I say that, but I wish they went even further as a ballad. Because even they called it a ballad, but it's still a lot more of the, th the thrash sound. Because it starts with this ballad, and you think that's going to be it for the rest of it, but then as it goes on, the guitar work and stuff get faster, 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 faster. Uh, I can appreciate why they did that the show is this kind of roller coaster going up it's just i would prefer the consistent ballad feel to it because i think for me that's the songs i like more from them i do like the the thrash metal sound don't get me wrong but well i think of my favorite the the first two unforgivens sad but true 
I guess you wouldn't call it ballad, but they just have a bit more distinct sound, different sound. Uh, All Nightmare Alone, that one has some really crazy guitar riffs in the second half of that song. And the music video of that is interesting to watch. Because it's done like a mock documentary about this virus that was found and people being infected. And there's like some cartoon work that reminds you of the kind of heavy metal you know, type of days. Again, interesting music video for those who want to check out All, Night All Nightmare Alone. But one of my favorites is Cyanide. That's one of my favorites on the, the the album. Just love the rhythm to that. It just really got me my the beat of my pulse pumping. And I'm not gonna go too much in depth. Of that I just I would probably say that's my favorite of the album is Cyanide. Then the end of the line. Then that was just your life. I would say those are my top three. One of the more disappointing was Unforgiven 3 because I really liked the first two. I really liked the first two Unforgivens. And I know a lot of people love this. I don't mind the piano beginning. It's not bad. How can I be lost if I can't know where to go? Like I said, I'm not going to say it's not a bad song. It's just. In comparison with the first two, I do think it's a step down. Just like in the beat just wasn't as memorable for me compared to They call it unforgiven or we're all forgiven too. I'm doing a bad job saying I should stop it, but like I said, those rhythms just really just taught me more than, than this one. Uh, there's some that I didn't really like. Judas Kiss, I thought was forgettable for me. My Apocalypse, a lot of people like that. That was actually one of my least favorite. It just felt too chaotic for me. I know that was used in some wrestling. I think it was used for The Undertaker at one point. It was, or it was used for some wrestling pay-per-view. I forget uh, which one. I don't know if it's No Mercy or one of those other pay-per-views. I don't know for uh, for certain. One uh, called Suicide Redemption. That's an interesting one because it's an instrumental one. Purely instrumental. Now it goes on for 10 minutes. That's the thing with a lot of their songs. They really push it to like 8, 9, 10 minutes. I don't think that's always need, needs to be the case. I don't think every song needs to be you know, 9, 10 minutes long. But again, them doing more instrumental, I thought at least that made it seem a bit more unique. A bit more interesting. And like I say, if I did a top 5 favorite songs, from it would be Cyanide, The End of the Line... That was just your life. I probably go with the the instrumental one, the the redemption one. And maybe all nightmare lawn. But again, uh, I was the Unforgiven Three. Like I said, I don't think it's a bad song, but that one I just remember being fairly disappointed in it. If you're wondering why I'm typing, because I want to look up... 2008 was when this came out. Okay. Six Grammy Award nominations. It won three, including Best Metal Performance for My Apocalypse. So, there you go. Death Men at it. The title started as a kind of tribute to people that have fallen in our business, like Lane Staley. A lot of the people that have died, basically... Rock and roll martyrs and sorts. Some people are drawn to death like a magnet. Other people are afraid of it and push. Some of these songs were in Guitar Hero 3.
And I'm also trying to look up to see if it says where that was used, my apocalypse. This way I can get that. Sorry, I'll be one second. I know I should have been more prepared. I know, I know. Shame on me. But just to double check real quick. Maybe, okay, maybe it was in this song. I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different song. Hmm. It must have, thought, must have been a different song. Because I can't find anything on there. I don't know why I thought that. I may, I may be thinking of a different album. That's probably why. Because I said I don't remember. Okay, one second. Was it not? I mean, God, now I'm confused by this. I think I am thinking of a different song. Uh, one second. Yeah, I can't remember. Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. If you heard something, one of my cats decided to, I guess even there, like, shut up, just do, end the review. Enough of this talking, enough of this look at the damn Wikipedia crap. What are you doing? I apologize, so. But overall, like I said, I'm not, I've, I've admitted I'm not that good at album reviews. I'm a guy that if I listen to music, either I like it or I don't, as simple as it is. I'm not good at the technicalities of music because I've never played a musical instrument. I've never been in a band of any sort. Uh, I don't even go to concerts. I went to one and it wasn't, it was like an outside concert and I was only there with family and I didn't like it because I'm putting my ears like this and I just prefer to listen at home and I didn't want to be in the crowds and stuff. So I'm much more particular in music on that front, on how I listen to it. And if you, me trying to explain music, I might as well explain Chinese algebra or read a Japanese newspaper. And I would get just as much understanding. But I don't think this is a bad album. It was nice to listen to. I'd never heard the album before. Again, I think for me, though, I'm always going to be a sucker for the more older Metallica stuff. Call it nostalgia. Call it whatever you want to be. Call it. But was this bad? No, not at all. So. Again, some nice singing and guitar work. Some nice drumming by Lars. How do you feel about the guy personally? Which I remember hearing at one point, he was like a failed tennis player and became a drummer. I don't know if that's true, but if so, that's kind of hilarious. But with that said, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.